Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sonya Lauren, and I am ba -da -ba 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 back with another video. Okay, before I get into this video, I just want to say I am showing you guys the real okay this is my face without makeup because i've been wearing makeup in my past videos so y'all have not been able to see what's underneath and i'm letting you guys know we on this skincare journey together okay like sonya lauren her face be suffering but we gonna get it together okay all right now watch the video so let me just start with african black soap i've tried african black soap so many different times i've tried it two three years ago and i do remember it burning my face like not only does it dry out your face but like it burned my face and i don't know recently i just decided to try it again because i'm like you know that was like two three years ago maybe i just got like a bad badge or whatever y'all tried it again and it burned down my face again so i'm just i'm over african black soap i'm not bashing this soap i know it works for so many different young uh women and i guess like people in general but it just don't work for me okay um, but i do want to show you guys where this soap burned my face okay you can see the burn right here so has to get all up in the camera to show y'all but like seriously african black soap burned my face i do want to open it up just to show you guys because i know you guys are wondering girl did you get the right one it was probably about eight nine dollars but it's the right one i mean it's the one that looks like oatmeal you know so just to kind of show you guys it was definitely it it smells like african black soap like i said i've used it before but unfortunately it didn't work for me but let me just get to the point of why y'all even came to this video. I want to talk to you guys about Dr. Bronner's soap because it is a soap that I've been using not only on my body, but just like everywhere. I mean, you could use this soap. Hold on, let me put this back. Not only on my body, but you could use Dr. Bronner's soap on your body, on your face, to clean your house, to clean your pet. There's just so many different benefits of the soap. So I have the tea tree one here, and I also have the citrus one. And the good thing about this, y'all, so let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all, let me back up a little bit, okay? I've always been using the peppermint scent, so if you guys are wondering which scent to get, I'm about to tell y'all. Y'all know I always got the tea on products, and I'm always gonna let you know how to figure out which one to get which product which scent you came to the right video sis because i'll be wondering like which one should i get there's so many different scents and i'm going to at least help you guys figure out you know possibly which scent you could get so i've always used the peppermint scent i don't have it with me it's back in my apartment back at school but i did bring a little bit home and i use the peppermint one for my face but if i were to like choose which one to really buy the peppermint one for i will tell you guys to buy the peppermint one for your body when i tell you you will be squeaky like ink, 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 ink. like you will be squeaky clean after using the peppermint soap the peppermint scent if you're looking for a nice body cleanser i would definitely tell you get the peppermint one like it will have every part of you squeaky okay like squeaky clean y'all okay overall i just love the peppermint one so yeah pretty versatile but i would recommend it for the body there's so many different scents like i've never tried the rose the lavender the almond but let's talk about this one okay this is the tea tree scent and y'all i had got it on clearance at target for like eight dollars and this is the 32 fluid ounce like y'all god came through today okay he come through every day but today he really came through like 7.98 the regular price for this was like 15.99 i did some research and i decided to start 
using Dr. Bronner's soap as a regular face cleanser because I haven't been using it regularly. They said that the tea tree scent one was supposedly better for acne. And let me break it down to you guys. Every one of the soaps pretty much have the same ingredients. So water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, tea tree extract, organic hemp oil, organic, uh, Joe, this is not how you pronounce this. I'm so sorry, I cannot pronounce this oil. Um, Jojoba, I know it's not jojoba, it's like Jehova oil or something. Um, citric acid and tocopherol, tocopherol, whatever that is, butcher some of the names. But my point is, the only difference between this soap and this soap is the tea tree extract, which makes sense because that's the scent. And then this soap also has like a lot of lemon oil and lime oil, stuff like that. But my point is all of the soaps pretty much have the same ingredients. This soap supposedly is better for acne because it has some type of antibacterial ingredient in it. So more people use this and gain success from this for acne. So I'm gonna test that theory. I'm gonna do like a seven day Dr. Bronner's soap challenge and I'll let you guys know. I decided to go with this scent for acne. Now, I haven't used this scent yet. It smells so good. I feel like I would use this for cleaning because it has like a citrusy like lemon smell and who doesn't want their house to smell like that? Like what? Like, yeah, so I feel like I would use this for that. But I will be giving you guys an update letting you know if my face is clearing up i mean my face looks so good right now like it's thriving regardless of the fact that i burn myself i do want to tell you guys dr browner soap in general how does it work you know like what do i think about it first of all 10 out of 10 i feel like any soap that can do more than one thing is a steal so it's like maybe you will buy the soap for your acne and realize you know what this didn't work for me in terms of acne well that's okay you didn't waste your money because there's 17 other things you can do with it right regardless i promise you you will find a use for it but in terms of acne and face wash i've tried the peppermint one right so when i first tried that i diluted it because honey it will burn your face and it will dry your face out that's true but it won't dry your face out to the point where it's unbearable. The important thing in any skincare routine is when you're done washing your face, moisturize. That should be the next step. Tone and moisturize or tone, whatever you gotta do to add moisture to your face, that should be the next step. In terms of choosing scents, pretty much go with the one that you like to smell the most. And I know it sounds obvious, but it kinda is because all of the soaps have the same ingredients in it. So you're, you're really not gonna be missing out on anything if you need them for a specific reason. You feel me? Like they all <laughs> have the same ingredients. So you should be straight with any scent that you go with. I just went with this one because supposedly it has like antibacterial qualities, but I'll be the tester of that and I'll let you guys know. And then I just got this one because it was also on sale. Basically guys, it's pretty much going to be the end of this video because I don't want to keep rambling about this soap. I just kind of wanted to introduce it to you guys. When I find a product that's a hit, I have to immediately tell my subscribers, like I can't be the only one to be enjoying this product. So far so good. Like. I know y'all see my skin. Okay, it's not super like clear, but it's getting there. Like I need y'all to be with me. You feel me? We gotta be fine together. Like summer 2020 is slowly approaching and we all want like clear skin because we can't be wearing makeup every day. Like seriously, it'd be too hot for that, okay? But anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope that I was able to answer some of the questions that you might have about Dr. Bronner's soap. But if I didn't get to answer your question, be sure to leave a comment down below and I will answer your question soon. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the reason why I dissed African black soap for Dr. Bronner's soap. Simple. Be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm the MVP, most valuable. I'm the MVP, most valuable. Yeah, I'm the MVP, most valuable player, huh? That's who I be.
Uh, cause I'm the MVP, most valuable. Cause I'm the MVP, most valuable. Yeah, I'm the MVP, most valuable player, huh? That's who I be.